Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to downgrade iOS 6.1.3 on your iPhone 4, 3GS, and iPod Touch 4th generation. Now we can downgrade to 6.1.2, 6.1, or any other firmware, including 5.1.1. It all depends on which SHSH blobs you do have saved. Now unfortunately, this is only for the devices I mentioned. It will not work on the 4S or iPhone 5. I'm really sorry about that. I know it is a bummer, but for now you do have to wait for an iOS 7 on Tether jailbreak. However, if you do have an iPhone 4 and do have your SHSH blobs, we can downgrade to a lower firmware. Now for the sake of this video, I will be downgrading to 5.1.1 because for me that's always worked the best. It's the most simple downgrade and it works 100% of the time for me. So you will need Red Snow 0.9.15 Beta 3, that's either for Mac or Windows. Also, you will need your IPSW firmware file that you will be downgrading to. In my case, it is 5.1.1 because I did have trouble downgrading to 6.1 and I'm missing my 6.1.2 SHSH file and Tiny Umbrella. Now with Tiny Umbrella, all we're gonna do is check. There's really no other reason why we need Tiny Umbrella because Red Snow can automatically patch the SHSH files into the firmware. But depending on which blobs you have in here, that will determine which firmware you do download and which one you will downgrade your device too. So sorry if I'm making it confusing at all. I'm trying to simplify it as much as possible, but go ahead and open up Tiny Umbrella and you're gonna select your device over here and connect to devices and go ahead and go to advanced and make sure this option right here, request SHSH from Cydia is unchecked. Then go back to general and select save SHSH. This will save all current SHSH files that you do have for your device. As you can see, these will determine which firmware you can downgrade to. I don't have 6.1.2 right here, that means I cannot downgrade to 6.1.2, only to 6.1, 6.0.1, whichever ones show up over here, but I am going to choose 5.1.1. Now as long as you know that you have them, you can go ahead and close out of Tiny Umbrella, and that's that. Go ahead and right click on Red Snow if you're on Windows, run as administrator. On Mac, go ahead and open it up. Now you're going to head over to Extras, Even More, Restore and we're gonna select the IPSW we are restoring to. So for me, it is on my desktop, 5.1.1. Once you do select that firmware, it will go ahead and ask you to put your device into Pwn DFU mode. So we need to go ahead and power off our iPhone. Now, once it is off, you're gonna go ahead and select next and immediately hold the power button for three, two, one, together with the home button for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, let go of the power button and keep holding the home button. Eventually Red Snow will recognize your device and the restore will begin. Hopefully none of you guys have any kind of problems. If you do, you know, you can always restart your computer, try it on a different computer, but usually I don't have many problems. And if you guys are having trouble downgrading to 6.1.2 or 6.1, you can always try downgrading to 5.1.1. Granted, you do have the SHSH blobs because I found that that always works in the case that 6.1 or 6.1.2 doesn't. On a little side note, guys, I just wanted to say I'm so sorry that you have to go through this. Apple is making your life miserable for all of us jailbreakers and we shouldn't have to do this we should be able to do whatever we want with our devices and hopefully there will be a law in the future that will allow that but for now you know we do have to suffer with this and i just wanted to say sorry but anyways uh, this downgrade will be done fairly soon and then we can go ahead and jailbreak it and enjoy a untethered jailbreak on whichever firmware you did decide to downgrade to eventually you guys will get this error message in itunes don't panic it's perfectly fine all part of the process just close out of iTunes, go back into Red Snow, and I'd actually close out of it and then reopen it, go to Extras, and select Recovery Fix. Now, seeing how we can't power off our device, we're gonna go ahead and charge into DFU mode right away. So you wanna hold Power and Home for 10 seconds together, starting now, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let go of the power button and continue holding the Home button. Now you can go ahead and select next while you're doing that. Keep holding the home button and Red Snow will recognize your device and it'll go ahead and power up onto your downgraded firmware in just a couple seconds. Eventually your device will begin to boot up just like this as if you're jailbreaking it. And I did have a couple keyed up plist errors. It's okay, just close out of Red Snow and try again a couple times. That's what it took me. But eventually you will go ahead and reboot your device and you will be downgraded. Now you guys will need to go ahead and go through the activation process. If you wanna activate your device, you can just use Red Snow to jailbreak it and it will activate it for you. But eventually after you have it all set up, 
you will see that you are on your desired firmware of choice. And there you go. As you can see, I am running 5.1.1 because I do have the old YouTube and Maps application. You know, it is 5.1.1 and I have successfully downgraded this iPhone 4. Now I know some of you guys may be having trouble downgrading to 6.1.2. I'm just saying try 5.1.1. It'll always work for you. And you guys are now done. You can go ahead and jailbreak it untethered using the video in the annotation right there. And it'll take you to my 5.1.1 jailbreak video. And if you have a 6.1 or 6.1.2 downgrade, then you can go ahead and click on the annotation right there and it will take you to that jailbreak video. Anyways, I do hope you enjoyed this video. I do hope it helped. Any questions, leave them down below. I will try to get back to you and subscribe like, you know, the usual. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Enjoy your downgraded device and jailbreak. Peace.